The intent of this video is to tie up a few loose ends from the channel's B-17 versus B-24 video where the combat effectiveness of the two bombers operating in the European theater was evaluated. At the end of that video, we ranked the bombers based on 14 metrics. The evaluation clearly showed the B-17 as a superior ETO bombing platform in every meaningful parameter. While researching archive documentation for a future video, I found a couple bomber evaluation documents which respond to a few questions from the video's comments. B-24 fans may want to take a pass on this video. Based on this review, we can revise the bomber scorecard by adding a few more evaluation parameters and reference sources for each row. This map from a declassified August 1945 Joint Logistics and Plans Committee document titled Comparative Logistical Efficiency of Bombing Type Airplanes outlines bomber ranges in support of the Japanese invasion. Maximum ranges from bomber bases in Okinawa, Kyushu, and Tokyo are represented. From bases in Okinawa, B-24s can support this range, while B-17s can support this range. These maximum ranges are based on bombers with full military loadouts. The details of full military loadouts are shown on this page. The B-17's maximum range equates to 1,800 miles with a 6,000-pound bomb load, while the B-24's range is at 1,600 miles with a 5,000-pound bomb load. The late-war B-17's have a 13% range advantage while carrying 20% more bombs. So why do some World War II YouTube content providers state the B-24 had a range advantage over the B-17? This was somewhat addressed in the earlier video. When configured for bombing with added armaments and armor needed in the European theater, the B-24 loses its range advantage. I believe they are quoting zero bomb load range values. This premise is justified by reviewing this end of war bomb load versus range diagram. The x-axis is a combat range in hundreds of miles. The y-axis is a bomb load in pounds. The curves in the body of the chart represent various bombers. The B-24 and B-17 range bomb load curves. The B-24's range matches the B-17's range for bombers carrying around 2,500 pounds of bombs. The B-24's range exceeds the B-17's range from 0 to 2,500 pounds of bombs. So yes, the B-24's range exceeds the B-17's range if the bomb load is less than 2,500 pounds. This low bomb load is not practical. Under real-life combat bombing conditions, the late-war B-17's range exceeds the B-24's range. This page from a May 1944 Army Air Forces Statistical Control Division document titled Supplemental Statistical Comparison B-17 and B-24 Models evaluates the combat performance of the two bombers. The U.S. military authors of this comparison do not mince words. This first part of text is interesting as it sheds light on the premise that B-24s were sent on less challenging missions. Sortie loss rates for the bombers have been roughly equal. This statement, while true, does not tell the full story as B-24s were sent on easier missions. B-24s were more vulnerable to combat damage. In order to keep B-17 and B-24 crew morale and losses equivalent, missions were tailor balanced so bomber attrition between the B-17s and B-24s was roughly equivalent. This required B-24s to be sent on easier and less defended targets. The bomber's vulnerability to battle damage is evaluated on this page, where bomber resistance to battle damage or vulnerability is defined as the number of bombers lost to bombers damaged. The lower the value implies a more robust bomber remained airworthy while absorbing combat damage. 14% of B-17s were lost that were hit, while 23% of B-24s were lost that were hit. A B-24 was 64% more likely to be lost when hit than a B-17. The unit cost of bombers is shown on this table from the Office of the Air Controller document titled Army Air Forces Statistical Digest 1946. The 1944 unit cost of a B-17 equates to around $204,000, while the unit cost of a B-24 is around $216,000. The B-17 cost 5% less than a B-24. Based on the data provided, we can update the B-17 versus B-24 scorecard, adding these rows reflecting vulnerability to battle damage and unit cost. The rows are in order of combat bombing significance based on channel ranking. We can also populate the column source reference. Given this additional data, the B-17 trends as a superior bomber when deployed in the European theater. If you've enjoyed this B-17 versus B-24 parameter clarification video, please consider engaging with the video by liking, commenting, and or subscribing to the channel World War II U.S. Bombers.